Hello guys, and this is Lin. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain to you people like me, totally new to this technology, and not a programmer, how to downgrade your DaVinci 1.0 to a lower vision that you can use the category resetter. Okay. First of all, uh, I bought this from New Egg on sale. Um, when I got it, it was on the version 1.2. Point six, which is you cannot use those uh, eBay sales category resetter, and now I downgrade uh, to the the one point one point dot J. I might be wrong. Let's see. So I done it downgrade back to one point one point J. Uh, this tutorial is for people just like me, totally new, and it's not a programmer. It's like a very it's like you don't have to be a a programmer in order to do, to do this. Um, first, I was browsing online for many hours, could not find any um, tutorial explaining how to downgrade the one point two uh, one point two point six. Mostly at one point um, one point two point three something, whatever. And this one is for the new one point two point six. Um, first of all, just make sure you have the r same printer as mine. <clears throat> okay, this is the printer, and then I open the back board, and you should know how to do it. This is my board, and then yeah, it's back dated 2013. And then next to the chip, you see the JP1? Yeah, that's the JP1. Um, that's the key point. I use a forcep to short those two dots. Uh, those two dots here. Um, basically, I will explain in detail in a minute. But just let you know, this is to be done on your own risk. You might just break your printer. This, this is on your own risk, okay? But uh, you shouldn't, cause it's pretty easy. Just like you flashing your iPhone, whatever it is, it's that simple. First of all, you should turn off your printer. Turn off your printer first. It's off. Now what you need to do is, um, let me turn on my light. You put your forceps, don't worry, you will not shock you, okay? Hold it right here, and, and then turn on, I mean, turn, uh, turn on the power for a 2 or 3 seconds. And then turn off the power, and then let go the forceps. Okay. Let's, okay, uh, let's put that on the camera. Put those two dots, the forceps on the two dots. Be careful because I don't have a second hand. Okay, and then second, turn off the printer. Let go of the forcep. And then now, turn it back on the printer. And then you should see two black uh, bar on the screen. And the printer won't turn on or do anything. This LED light won't turn on. Nothing. Now I go to my computer. First, you need to find out what com your printer is on. Which com? Oh, one more thing. Forgot to mention. On your software, you should uninstall your firmware. I mean, uninstall your XYZ where and download a older version my is 1.1.30.16 that's the most safe uh, uh xyz where that you should use do not use any higher than that where to get this firmware i will show you the link uh, the, the link will be under below but just let you know first uh, you can go to this so called uh, yeah go to this website download it and so this is the one I use 
you this one okay and second you should go to this website oops I will also provide a link later go to this website and download this uh, DaVinci Reset download this thing I downloaded already and in my you put it in anywhere after you download it the resetter you open it then you will see there's two things you need to copy first call the 3d p01 firmware version 1.1 dot j this dot bin and this two that second one is bozac b-o-s-s-a-c this two thing is basically that all you need copy it to your c drive So I copy or paste and paste it already so you can see the Bozak and the firmware. This is the I name it for easier. You will know later. You will know about it later. I will rename this 3DP01 to a name, a symbol name, any name you want, but just simple as soon as simple as possible. So I got this Bozak and firmware 1.1.j here on my C drive. That's you get ready you need to you need it for and and second you need to find out what your computer connect which which com you which USB connector your computer is connected to so you go to your computer control panel and device manager on the port right here okay you will start, okay this is my other USB but you should be I mean your 3D printer should both be be recognized by the computer as Brozac com, uh, program port. In my case, COM9. Everyone should have a different COM number, COM11, COM1, whatever. My, my case is 9, so it should be confirmed, recognized as a, as a Brozac program port as the, for the 3D printer. But if not, you can choose like uh, update software, update Java software, and then you should be recognized as a uh, Brozac program port. You have to be at the Brozac uh, program port. That's you're all good. So now what do you need to do is, so remember it's on COM9. First open, go to, now next is go to your computer and uh, input ESCMD to bring out this um, dialog box and um, next you need to input the following this is the one I have just done I, I just flushed my, uh, my printer and now to flush again first you need to like here my computer's name and then in here after Bruce this is my computer name next you should input input cd dot dot forward slash dot dot forward slash enter let me secure my camera first. 